Hello, this is Anna Goji here, coming at you with another video, and today we are doing the Senior Point Up. I've seen this anime three times, so let's talk about it. Watch sub once and dub twice, so I've seen it enough. And plus, I'm watching it on my fourth viewing right now for Godzilla Month. Uh, I've watched the first three episodes. Again, after I think having after like months of months, well, I watched it a couple of times. I watched some videos on it, so I know a little bit, know more about single point. I don't remember the characters' names, but let's get started. And rest is that perfect song. Hopefully, I don't get a copyright claim. Don't know why I got a copyright cream on my Godzilla vs. Kong spoiler review. I didn't get a copyright cream for Godzilla vs. Megazilla 2. I use Godzilla Steam 2. Megazilla 2 Steam, but I don't know why I didn't get a copyright cream for that. I don't know. But Godzilla Single Point is really good. I highly recommend it. Okay, end the video. Is that Nagoji? Sign off. Okay. I guess we should probably talk. Uh, single... Single Point is probably one of the best animes of spring and of this year. I know there's some other anime titles. Some anime fans might say are better than this. Because of Single Point deals with like singularity points like in the title singularity points just with like science mumbo jumbo the science is very complicated in this anime you really have to watch it like a couple times to understand the science I did understand the science when I first watched it I catched on to the science and apparently there's also some time trouble evolved during the end spoilers the kaiju action is really nice, especially especially with kaijus we haven't seen in a while. Like Anguirus shows up, we haven't seen since Final Wars, and it's probably one of the best best incarnations of Anguirus. Even though it's a little, this incarnation of Anguirus is small. Actually, most of the kaiju in this anime is small, apart from Godzilla. He's probably the biggest kaiju in this anime. Even though, in reality, compared to other Godzilla designs, he is still small. Even though, later on in the anime, they say he's 50 meters, then he goes to 100, over 100 meters, 100 meters plus. So... Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I really like Godzilla Single Point. It's probably one of my favorite animes I've ever seen. It's probably in my top five animes. Well, I have to think about that. Because there are a lot of Studio Ghibli films I've seen. Actually, I've seen all the Studio Ghibli films. I've seen most of them. I've seen all the Studio Ghibli films. Yeah. I actually just watched uh, Princess Monokun uh, last night. I literally saw play just watched that. It was so good. And, uh. Godzilla Single Point is probably pretty good. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it already. Much of thoughts. The first episode is pretty decent. It gives a nice setup to the rest of the series. Second episode with a nice cliffhanger. And then we get into the second episode with the opening. I love the opening. It's really cool. It's by Bish. She also bought another opening from Fairy Tale. And I think Bish has been a ton of anime before. So they make an awesome song. Because uh, it's pretty cool in this anime. And 
Let's pick up the Kaiju. Uh, the Jaguar is pretty cool. One of my... I know his movie that he was in wasn't really... Ugh. It wasn't bad. It was... Because uh, uh. of this Megalon is a cheesy, fun blast. Even though I'm not a big fan of Megalon, the Jaguar has always been fun, especially in the comics and in his own movie. Even though in the movie he does get his ass kicked a lot. But how can you say no to that face? Even when he helps, even though Jajago helps, dude, the epic helps Godzilla with that. Helps hold Megalon in place, so Godzilla can do his epic defying drop kick. And to be honest, uh, I really love this movie. I really love this anime. And Jajago in the anime is probably the main star of this anime. I think he gets more time than Godzilla. Weird. Well, technically Godzilla gets more time, but you actually seen the first episode as Bones, if you want to include that as an appearance. He does, you do see him as different forms. People just don't think, people just don't realize that's Godzilla. They just think that's like, oh, Titanosaurus. Oh, wait, that's Godzilla. Oh, man. Oh, wait, that's Godzilla. Oh, wait. Something that looks like a metro of Ghost Horse and Zilla. Maybe it's a new kaiju. Oh, wait, that's Godzilla. And then we get to see Godzilla and all his glory in Godzilla Ultima in his final form, which he looks pretty cool. But is it his final form? Well, I think he has like five forms. Or just four forms. Five forms. Uh. Two of them, which look pretty much the same, and I think in his fourth, fifth form, he's pretty big. Actually, when we saw him in the anime, in the anime, he is towering over the buildings, towering over Jet Jaguar. He is he is so huge? And I think that's a is probably one of my. I think Godzilla Ultima is probably, design-wise, is probably one of the best. The Jaguar, design-wise, is kind of, mm, kind of mitts on it. It's not as iconic as the OG the Jaguar design, but it's still got neat touches. And he does, the movement of the Jaguar in this anime is pretty nice. It's pretty neat. Vodan. Basically, just pterodactyl. Just looks like a pterodactyl. I don't know if else to say. Uh, Kumanga, or Megalon, or Gigan, or whatever the bug thingy was. That's pretty cool. Don't know what that kaiju is trying to be. Is it trying to be Kumanga? Is it trying to be Megalon? Is it trying to be Kempicurus? Is it trying to be Gigan? What is that monster trying to be? It's like, <laughs> it's like Toho just wanted to use one mon, wanted to use multiple monsters, but they decided to put it in one kaiju. Just call it a backup like hybrid something, the hybrid creature or something. Reference. Hybrid creature thingies. We do see some more kaiju like Mafa. Mafa's in this anime. Yeah, technically in the anime, she's very Mafa. Very muffa. Very, very muffa piss. Anyway, just pretty interesting. Uh, the characters are pretty interesting. Yoon is probably one of those way back characters who doesn't really like this heart that much, just like too busy. Dealing with technology and trace look towards the future. I try to explain stuff a lot. It comes up as a smart guy. Uh, actually, let me put the characters right now so I can remember some of these names.
<laughs> yeah, May and Yoon are probably the main kit one of the main characters of the anime. We get the most screen time. Uh, May is basically trying to figure out how to stop all the kaiju. Basically, get introduced with May and Yoon. They get most of the screen time. We got Satomo. Saita me Saita me how do you pronounce that name? Kana. It's gonna kinda kinda hawa. Cause that her last name is easier to pronounce. And we got Yuki, which is obviously a reference to the previous Godzilla movie, and she kinda looks like uh the lady from But she's not really in it that much. She's only in it at the climax. And then we got Team Otaku, Team J Jaguar, Goro Otaku. Which, he's my favorite character in this anime. Oh my god, he's so fun to put. He's so fun. And then we got Habu, most of all, Team J Jaguar. And then we got uh, other cast members, which don't have a picture for it, where we go to the website. But most of these characters are pretty interesting. If I even if I can't remember the most of their names, I will admit all the characters in this anime are really good. Especially Yoon, Mei, and Go, and Habu. They're all likable. All the characters are likable in this anime. It's got a really strong character. So the monsters. Even though the monster designs aren't traditional monster designs, they won't look like actual accurate of what monster they're supposed to be playing. Supposed to be playing. I think Anguus is probably one of my favorite redesigns of Anguus. I think it's actually my, one of my favorite versions of Anguus. And I also want to mention that the human, I like how they mix the CGI and the humans. Like the human in the background is basically regular plain hand drawn, and the monsters are CGI, not CGI, uh, 3D animation. This is probably a really good anime. If I had to rate it, mm, 9 out of 10. It's really good. I highly recommend it if you haven't watched it already. Is one of the best animes out there. I highly recommend it. Probably one of the best Kazuo content we got in this year. It's probably better than I'm gonna say it. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Uh, it's better than Godzilla vs Kong. Even though I like Godzilla vs Kong, Godzilla vs Point is way better. No compete. It's probably even the best. Well. That's debatable if it's the best of the show era, not the show era, the way wide era. Even though the anime trilogy is probably at the bottom of the way wide era, and then it's Shin God It's debatable if single points better than Shin Godzilla. But anyway, with that done, with my single point review out of the way, I'm gonna try to get that Godzilla vs. King of the Monsters review out. Probably later on today. Way on tonight. Maybe not tonight, but probably Monday. Or Tuesday. Probably Tuesday. But basically, this movie is super rat rated 9 out of 10. Four out of five. If I have three out of five, four out of five. If I have three out of ten, nine out of ten. This movie is so good. I not movie. Anime is so good. I recommend it. Even if you're not a Godzilla fan, if you like watching anime, I highly recommend this anime. You should watch it. You should be watching. And it's kind of weird that Funimation did not do the dubbing for this. Did not do the sub and dummy 
for this. I think it was like Orange Studio or something. I think it was like a different dubbing company that did the dubbing for this. It wasn't Funimation for some strange reason. It's kind of weird. Because didn't Funimation do the dubbing for Monster Planet for the anime trilogy too? Or was it just Shin Godzilla that did the dubbing for? Mm, I don't know. Well, Zanagoji signing off. And remember, stay big, G fans.